What's up, Earnings Life? I want to show you guys my medal. My awesome Iron Man medal from St. George, Utah. St. George, Utah is by far, I'm not messing around, okay? St. George, Utah's Iron Man is by far the hardest Iron Man in the circuit. The 70.3, the half Iron Man. Those hills at St. George are insane. They are so hard to climb. So if you're training for the St. George Ironman 70.3, I suggest you start doing some hill work, some climbing. The cycling, there's a course, there's a section on the course of the cycling where the hill is so steep that so many people were getting off their bike and walking their bike up because it was too hard to cycle uphill. So. If I had to give one piece of advice to anyone doing the St. George 70.3 Ironman, I would suggest you doing more hill work, climbing, and do a lot of squats. Do a lot of squats to strengthen your butt because those hills at St. George are some serious hills and it's no joke. I had a great time. I had a fantastic time. There's my medal. I'm going to sign up for another Ironman. I love Ironmans because it keeps you dedicated, it keeps you focused, it keeps you on point with your nutrition. You need a better diet if you're going to sign up for a half Ironman or a full Ironman. You need a better diet. You're only as good as what you put into your body. If you're drinking Pepsi and eating uh, pizza and hamburgers all day, that's not good fuel. You need good fuel to, to be an Ironman, to do these Ironman events. So they're totally worth it. They're totally worth it because it tests the human body. You want to test your human body. You don't want to just exist. You want to see what you're made of. So stay safe. The swimming at St. George is cold. I, I was the, um, the only one out there in Speedos. No joke. I was the only one. I'll post a picture. I was the only one in Speedos out there. I suggest you use a wetsuit. I'm going to do it again. This time I will be in a wetsuit because that water is freezing. The cycling is not as bad as the running. There are so many hills on the half marathon part that so many people gas out when it comes to the running. So when you compete at St. George, Utah, the Ironman, make sure you reserve enough energy for the run because the, run, the running, the course where we finish the half marathon, 13 miles, 13.1 miles. There's a lot of hills. Other than that, I had a great time. It doesn't cost that much to sign up for this Ironman in St. George because not too many people want to do it. It's in Utah. I hope I see you out there. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And remember, eat healthy, be healthy, sleep well, live well, because what you eat is how you feel your body and how you sleep is how you recharge your battery. All right. Eat healthy, be healthy, sleep well, live well. That's awesome. I mean, who can argue that? Eat healthy, eat healthy, be healthy, sleep well, because what you eat is how you feel your body and how you sleep is how you recharge your battery. All right. Get a medal with me. We're going to do it again.